Hey, welcome back to this week's job with Jason, your buddy, the elf, elf on a shelf, Christmas edition of Java. So this week's topic, it's a hot one. I'm getting this question two or three times a week right now is because we have super limited inventory right now and the prices that people are getting for the houses are pretty high and there's still multiple offers going out. So the question is this, should I just sell my house, take my money and run or take my money and wait till the market cools back down, okay? So it's a valid question, right? But um, I would warn you from getting out of the market. So it's, this is the title, should I stay or should I go in the market, all right? So I was actually listening to Dave Ramsey and they were talking about the same exact topic a client called in and he brought up a very valid point, okay? So back in 2008, 2009, when the market crashed, the market was in a frenzy kind of like this and then it crashed, okay? Was this bubble, is the market really real? Is it a bubble? That's the question. Well, it was a bubble back then and here's why. Because people were buying houses in Texas and they were doing investment properties and they were not putting any money down those investment properties and never moving here. They're speculating, okay? This time around, I was doing loans back then, and I'm doing loans now, it's completely different. It's similar in the fact that clients are coming from California, Washington State, Chicago. They're coming here in a frenzy, but with the pandemic and COVID, they're now buy buying here and moving here and either working remotely or getting transferred here to Texas because it is cheaper to live here and they're putting a lot of money down. So they're real buyers, they're putting real down payments, and they're gonna be li and they're living here as well too. They're moving their entire families here. So Dave Ramsey says, I don't see the market dipping at all. In fact, it might continue going up at another 10%. It might just level out and keep going up at three or 4%. But the bottom line is this, if you get out of the market and take your money and hold on to it, you can miss another five to 10% appreciation. All the meanwhile, interest rates can also go up next year, which also decreases your buying power. So his comment was, it's the worst time to sell your money, to sell your house, get out of the market and just rent. So if you have any questions on this, I got a lot of spreadsheets, a lot of formulas that show breakdowns of rent it versus buy, and um, also what different monthly payments may look like at different interest rates if these rates do go up and the values are up. So just wanna make sure that you're watching out for your financial investment. A house is the number one tool that you can use for the average American to use to make a lot of money, retire early, and retire wealthy, okay? So we wanna make sure you're watching out for your financial investment. If you have any questions, give us a call here at the office at 281-882-8888.